Welcome back to our channel Python Masters. Today we have an exciting topic to discuss using callback functions in event driven programming with Python. Event driven programming allows us to build applications that respond to various events or user actions and callback functions play a crucial role in this paradigm. So let's dive right in. Before we delve into callback functions, let's quickly review what event-driven programming is. Event-driven programming is a programming paradigm where the flow of the program is determined by events, such as user actions, sensor outputs, or messages from other programs. In event-driven programming, we have event sources that generate events and event listeners or handle handlers that respond to those events. And this is where callback functions come into play. A callback function is a function that gets executed or is called back when a specific event occurs. It allows us to define the behavior or actions that should happen in response to an event. In Python, we can pass functions as arguments to other functions or assign them as variables, which makes implementing callback functions easy. Let's uh, now see an example of how to use callback functions in Python. And suppose we have a graphical um, user interface application that we want to work on. Okay, and we want to perform a specific action when the user clicks a button, right? So here's how we can achieve that using callback functions. First, I'm going to write the code and then I will explain the, uh, explain the same. So I'm going to create a function let it be button clicked and when this function is called we get the message button clicked okay um okay let me create a file i think that would be way easier so let me start it again So I'm going to create a file first and then I'm going to create the same program. So first I will import tk enter as tk. I'm going to create a function button clicked. Okay, then I'm going to call this one. So these are the arguments. These are the parameters. Oh, it's going to say click me. And then I'm going to give a command. That would be based on the function itself. And then we are going to pack everything. Okay, I'm going to save it. And I'm going to run it. Okay, so as you can see, it says click me. And when I click, the message is button clicked. Right now, let me explain this code. Um, so, in this example, we import TK Enter library, which allows us to create GUI applications. And we define a function called button clicked that simply prints a message button clicked when it's called. Next, we create TK Enter window and 
button widget. So this is how we do that to create a button widget. The command parameter here, so these are the parameters of this function. Command parameter of the button is set to button clicked function, which means that when the button is clicked, the button clicked function will be executed. So that's the command we are giving. Now, this is a classic example of using a callback function. We define the behavior we want when the button is clicked and that behavior gets executed in response to the event. And I hope you already know why we are using button.back or root.main loop. If you don't know that, let me know in the comments. I'll explain that as well. Now, I want you to know that Callback functions are not limited to GUI applications. They are widely used in various scenarios. For example, in web development, we often use callback functions to handle asynchronous operations like handling AJAX requests um, or responding to user interactions on web pages. Callback functions are also used in event-driven frameworks and libraries like Flask or Django, they allow us to define the actions to be taken when certain events occur, such as receiving an HTTP request or an error event. When working with callback functions, there are a few best practices to keep in mind. First, make sure your callback functions are clear and well-documented because they are called by the event system. So it's important to understand their purpose and behavior. Second, uh, secondly, be cautious with callback hell. Callback hell is a term. It describes a scenario when you have a large number of nested callbacks. This can make your code hard to read and maintain. And to mitigate this, you can use techniques like promises or async await in Python to handle asynchronous operations in a more structured way. And lastly, remember to handle errors properly within your callback functions. If an error occurs during the callback execution, make sure to handle it gracefully and provide meaningful feedback to the user. That brings us to the end of today's video on use of callback functions in event-driven programming with Python. I hope you understood. I hope the concept was clear. If it wasn't, if you had any doubt or if you could not understand any terminology, please let me know in the comments and I will create a separate video on that. I will see you in the next video lecture. Till then, take care.